Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today we're going to be looking at an asset called Runtime Monitoring by John Barracuda. And you know it's an awesome asset when you've got a really cool name. This asset allows us to add a monitor attribute to any field property or event inside your C Sharp classes and then be able to show them on a nice little UI in your scene so you can debug everything that might be going on. And I'm going to show you how to set it up and get it started today because there's some nuanced things. There's a few, a couple of lines of code which are not totally obvious. So I'll explain that and we'll get straight into it. Don't forget to check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description for all the sales, especially on the Humble Bundle, which has their new Polygon Mega massive low poly sale and everything that's currently ongoing on the Unity Asset Store. Be sure to throw a like on this video and be subscribed to always be kept up to date with what's going on. So you can navigate to the Unity Asset Store and find Runtime Monitoring, which is a free asset. And you can open this up and add it to your assets from Unity. John even has a full GitHub page especially about contents for setup, how to utilize and how to go from there. But there's only one specific part of the setup that we're going to need to take, but I'll help you get it going today. So I've just got a test scene here, which is using the low poly shooter pack free sample. And it's a really awesome little pack, but this is just to give you some examples of some things for this to work. To install this, we can go to the project manager and it should already have been added to your assets as long as you've got it from the store. If you want to add it from Git, you can add it via the Git URL in the top corner, but you want to go to your assets and then you want to search monitor. From there, you can make sure that you can install and import the runtime monitoring. Once that's in your scene, you will have the folder, which is called the Barracuda folder, and it does have documentation in there. For you to get an idea of how it works. You can see that I've already had this set up in my top corner and you can see all the things that are going on, whether I'm reloading, whether I'm inspecting, or you can see my movement speeds and anything, whether I should be grounded or not in my current velocity at any time. Now I'll show you in one of these examples with the, specifically with the character script which uses it. And this is split up and it can be depending on the script that you have. One thing, like I said, you need to do is in your wake method and destroy method, you need to specifically add two lines of code. You need to add this dot register monitor, because we need to call that in the awake method in each script that you have, and then on destroy, so when the game ends and it's destroyed, we need to unregister so it doesn't keep appearing in the UI further and further. Then at the top, we can use a namespace called using barracuda.monitoring. And then from there, that means that we now get access to the specific information that we want. So any of our fields, whether they're serialized or they're just normal variables, all we need to do above them is write in square brackets monitor. And that's as simple as it is. And you can see in the documentation that monitoring objects, if it's a mono behavior, we do need to make sure that we have the registering and the deregistering when we actually destroy or in a way. And there is a few different examples, but you can see that you can use this in normal fields. You can use this specifically in events and you can use these other things to see what's going on when you're trying to debug and test your game. So seeing as though I put those square brackets monitor at the top and as long as you've got the namespace and you've got the awake methods, you can then go back into play mode and you can see in the top corner, I've got holstered, which is false. And I can press H in this script, holster my weapon. And now you can see that it's true because we have got that accessible. I can do the same and I can see when I'm reloading because I pressed R and if I'm inspecting, I'll press T and you can see that it's changed to true. So you can see when things should or shouldn't be on or variables that you need to track as time goes on, whether it's bullets used, whether it's time you've been around. There is a nice little FPS monitor script, which we could add just to an empty game object here. If I go into the monitoring example and you go over to the FPS monitor, we can go that the, we might want to hide it in hierarchy and don't destroy and load. And when we press play now, you will notice in my top corner, you can see my FPS and you can see that my target frame rate is unlimited. And I've what the VSync count is just to get some ideas of some quick debugging. If you are testing around on things, as he's going along. I hope you check this asset out and be sure to leave the developer a positive review if you do like this asset because I think it's absolutely awesome. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat 
and check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with great discounts on my website for all those assets. So a big thanks to all my patrons including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, David76, Gene Pomier, Manos Berakas, Terence Conrad, Gage Linston, Walter Dunson, John John Games, Joseph Newman, Rene Leisure, Darren M, Topher Chambers, Kreshnik Halili, Matthew Claudius, Bond of Blood, Ishak Zemani, and Julian Gonzalez. And thank you to everybody who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.